ini mah Papua. Yes. 
here is a prophet who has eaten the word of God and yet in the end felt abandoned by God because the soldiers of the king and queen were running after him wanting to kill him. And so he sought for the Lord and he sought the Lord in the thunder but did not find the Lord there. He sought the Lord in the earthquake, did not find the Lord there. He sought the Lord in blazing fires, he did not find the Lord there. <clears throat> Finally, the wind whispered quietly in his ear, and he sensed the Lord's presence. In the quiet of the wind, and in the quiet of his heart. What might be therefore learned from uh, the story of Elijah? We are all called to heed God's word and to go where he bids. And we have done so in our own ways, forming a family with Tony, forming friendships with Tony. But like Elijah, we are a loss because we have lost our beloved Tony. And sometimes, perhaps in the quiet of the night, we look and search for God's presence. Why take away Tony? And then one road a few days after. Why all these suffering and death within our family and loved ones? And Elijah tells us that he sought the Lord in the thunder and the lightning in the most dramatic events of our lives. Very often God is more palpable. When we celebrate graduations and births and weddings and anniversaries and also when we uh, experience uh, maybe extreme suffering and pain. Sometimes God becomes more, most palpable even during intense moments of suffering and pain. But Elijah invites us to experience the Lord in the quiet moments of our day-to-day -day lives. And after we heard Tony, in a way we would have crossed a threshold because we have been holding on to Tony's presence here with us and represented by this bird. But when we can earn it, in a way, we will be in limbo. Somehow, the ground would have disappeared and we would find ourselves in midair, having lost our mourning. Where are you, O oh God? Where are you, Tony? Many times we will not be able to sense God's presence or Tony's presence. <clears throat> and yet Elijah tells us in the quiet and ordinary moments of our day-to-day -day lives, there God is. And Tony is telling us in the quiet and ordinary moments of going through your childhood photos with your dad, of going through all the books you have hoarded and bought with Tony, there I am. And so, as we navigate this difficult period of surrendering Tony to the Lord, and bearing with the absence, the abyss, and the vacuum created by his absence, we ask for the grace that like Elijah, we might be able to ever sense the abiding presence of the Lord, not only in the dramatic moments of joy and suffering, but in the quiet moments of our and so, who says the abiding presence of Tony in a quiet?
trying moments of our lives as we move on from here. The paradox is that even in his seeming absence, Tony is ever with us. In God's seeming absence, God is ever with us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. <laughs> Let us all present our petitions to the Lord. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father when he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his, and let the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Thank you. 
give us abundant life that you call, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and the nice broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given us for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice at once for the new thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How do we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ? We may gather in one by Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church to spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and this our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Holy, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. And so, of course, in us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin and the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, within and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus taught us to address God as loving Father, and so with confidence we now pray. <laughs> Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.